There's an exchange, a monetary exchange, you know, for uh, your hand in marriage. Now you're moving into my house, so now you abide by my rules because I pay. my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also turn on the post notifications so you know every single time I post so ladies and gentlemen what's, what's the, the chat? chat the chat today is Lobola Lobola, Lobola. so it's pretty much when the man and his family give the bride and her family, well not even the bride, but her, the bride's family a certain amount of money. It can be money, it can be cows, or whatever they request as part of Lobola. Yeah. Where the man and his family give this amount to the bride's family. The bride's family is the one that says how much they want. And they tend to base it on things like, does she have an education? Is she a virgin? Um, does she have any kids? Um, what else? Does she have a job? Stuff like that, and that's how they come forward with this price. The purpose of this is said to be to join two families together and to build a relationship yeah. between the two families. So that is what Lobola is. And but, but we can't forget the fact that it is a negotiation. They oh, don't yes, just go yes, there yes, and yes, demand yes. money. There are actual negotiations that happen. Do you believe in Lobola and why? Are I'm you sorry. going to pay Lobola? Um, yeah. Why? Do you believe in it? Um, what franchising? Bruh! If you look at it like that, you know, you kind of like paying for rights. And I, oh! You know. <laughs> rights! Yeah. Because. It's true. You know, you franchise it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, think about it. I mean, there's an exchange, a monetary exchange, you know, for uh, your hand in marriage. Now you're moving into my house, so now you abide by my rules because I pay. Jesus is love! First of all, I'm not moving to a man's house. We're moving into our house. Okay. So it's not you abide by my rules because I'm grown. Truly speaking, like, you're not going to tell me you come from wherever you come from. To come tell me that, yeah, no, my rules. No, I'm sorry. I think this is more of a modern perspective, and I think even modern guys obviously modern won't. Modern traditional. Modern guys won't come to you and be like, my house, my rules. But traditionally, my house, my rules, I paid Lobala to you. And that gave rise to men feeling like their own woman. I paid Lobala for you. What do you mean you're not going to cook? I paid Lobala to you. You have to do this. You're my wife. You're in. You. Women went from under the ownership. And I don't know if ownership is the right word, excuse me, if, I think it's the wrong word. Yes. But you went under the, okay, authority is the word. Authority. From the authority of your father to the authority of your husband. And I think that gives rise to problems where you feel like, oh, this is not about building bonds, it's about an exchange of rights, yeah. moving from this authority to that authority. And I think that gives rise to men feeling like they own women and exactly. they can do what they want to women because I paid Lobola for you, yeah. therefore I can do it. And I think that's... A problem. I think it's subjective because I mean Ooh. we know mothers, yeah. we know grandmothers that stood their ground. We know strong women. Absolutely. We know women that would not bow, like just roll over and accept such nonsense or accept whatever it is that they were fighting. But so I really do think that it's a subjective thing. So the question that I have that some people say now is that Lobola is a form of selling someone. What do you guys think about that? I think it's ignorant. The questioning of Lobola a lot of the time comes from people who have not looked into where it comes from. How it should go, as far as what I know culturally, that money comes back anyway. It's gonna, cause gifts are gonna be given to the, to the groom's family. Animals are gonna be slaughtered throughout and that they can even buy gifts for people that aren't alive. Like it's a thing, they demand. You know what I mean? For the dead. Um, yeah, and they demand like genuine things. But the thing is, the money doesn't always go back into that. Some yeah. families pocket the money and they so, keep it. Yeah. yeah, so then it's not a Lobola problem. It's a your family problem. Oh my God! 
Klobola, right? You are saying that for us to have the, the men's family, to have your daughter, we must first pay a price in order for your family to be able to give her over to us. Not immediately, it's not like here's cash and here's the kid and then you, you, sw you switch. But ultimately, without paying Lobola, your wedding and your union, or your, your marriage, let me say, is not okay. recognized. It can't happen without you exchanging the, the money for the female. Does that not, Does that not sound no. like selling? You're Does that not make you feel like a commodity? I really think it's how you choose to look at it, quite frankly. I don't see it as that at yeah. all. I don't think it's selling someone. Because the intention, I think behind everything, the intention is what matters. And yeah. I don't believe the intention is to sell someone. And you cannot put a number to my worth. Whatever you pay for the water does not determine how good or, or bad of a woman I am or how worthy I am. What I say is in how I understand the importance of it to whom it does matter to. It's meant to be a joining of two families. It's meant to be a form of appreciation. When I think of Lobola, I'm thinking of someone them paying, not because they're buying me, but to show their appreciation for me and to show their appreciation for my family and what my family has done, although my family was their job to do what they did because, you know, they, I'm, I'm their child, what would they do, <laughs> they throw me away? Um, so I, I respect the fact that it's to join two families together. And I respect that it's actually meant to value and honor a woman, mm -hmm. you know? It's to yeah. honor you, it's not to bring you down, yeah, it's not to absolutely. make you rubbish, it's to honor you. And if anyone else makes it a matter of, I bought you, I paid for you, that's them choosing to dishonor you. Mm. But the practice is not meant to dishonor you. We never really did get your answer to go back to this <laughs> one. You said you're going to do it. What? Pay you're going to pay yeah, but, So do you believe it. in it? Yes or no? Yeah. It is the gesture to say thank you for raising a queen for me. You know, this is to alleviate a lot of the stresses or to compensate for, I don't know, the sacrifices you made for her to become what she is today. And what she is going to become for you. Yeah. You bear children, she's gonna you exactly. know? multiply them. So, this is to say, thank you, do the most. Do you want Lobola to be paid for you? Yeah. Why? why? And I'm assuming that means you, you believe in it. Yeah, fully. So I fully believe why? in it. Why? Um, let me put it this way. I don't believe that what it has become out there in the streets has anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that what it has become out there in the streets or over time takes away from what it initially symbolized. I think that I don't have as much information as I should about it. It would be ridiculous for me, first of all, to not know about it and want to write it off or question its relevance because questioning that would should mean that i am questioning white weddings too because no one schools us about that either yeah. we just know that to be a norm um as an african more especially i understand that the significance it has goes beyond here so what about you do you want to pay Lamola? yeah i do i do and i would so I'm and assuming I, that means you believe in it? I do. Why? Um, because of the relationship it brings towards, I mean, between the two families. Yeah. I also might go as far as saying I prefer to pay Lobola and then not get married, you know, as as even opposed to getting married, like skipping Lobola. If I had to get married or pay Lobola, I'd rather pay Lobola and then that's mm. us. Yeah, just to show respect to her family as well, because Obviously, families are different, so if her family's down, then I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but and also the ancestors as well, so make sure the ancestors are cool with you. The underground gang still with it. The underground gang knows that I'm with the yeah. vibe. I think that for me, is Lobola going to be paid for me? Yes. Do I want it to be paid for me? I'm going to say yes. It's not something I'll take away from my family, let me say. It's not something I'll fight and say, no, you can't, you, no. But to be honest, it's not because I believe in it with all my heart and of course it must be paid for me. And I also think it's bigger than myself. Mm. That's why I say I can't contest it. It's not about me. Yeah. It's not about my man. Yeah. Even if he's white and he doesn't believe it, it's not about you, Dave. 
<laughs> see, it's about it's about families. The culture. It's greater than us. I don't believe in ancestors, so I don't believe in the portion of you appeasing ancestors or introducing me because they used to do it as well to introduce the bride to the to the to the groom's ancestors. I don't believe in that. But I do believe it's to join the two families together and to get them acquainted and let them celebrate. Why not? No one is fighting. No one is. Let them be together. Let them celebrate. Yeah. And I think it's bigger than just Africa, because it's done in many African countries, though it has different names. It's done in many countries, guys. Even in India, mm. I believe they have the same thing. Yeah. There's clearly something to it, and surely not everyone is just trying to sell hands. So. And we must bear in mind that Lobola really does not have to be a hundred thousand, man. Absolutely. It doesn't even have to be fifty, not even ten thousand. Lobola can be at five hundred rand. It can be two thousand rand. It it literally can be any number. It like, guys, it really doesn't have to be ridiculous amounts that people must go take loans for, or you have to save up your entire life. You know what I mean? It really can be anything. So. That's something that we also need to like forget completely, like yeah. remove like this thought, this idea that Lobola has to be two hundred and fifty thousand rand. So Would you um, assist your man in financially? No, for, to pay your Lobola. No. Why? <laughs> because I'm not a Bobai. <laughs> what? <laughs> but honestly, honestly, we've all heard these stories. Women who help their men pay Lobola, that man does not take you seriously. And he's there to finesse you're not gonna have a happy marriage so no i wouldn't and also beyond hearing horror stories lobola is something that you do as a man it's within your pride as well as a man and the pride of the men in your family as well and if you cannot take upon that responsibility that you have as a man i can't trust you to take on other responsibilities within the marriage are you not able to plan? Are you not able to apply yourself? So what if, no. What if the family's putting pressure? Ah, uh, why are you at your big age, peer pressure? Come on. The peer Come family. On. Well, no, and he's yeah. big. He's big for him to not be able to say no. I'm not. I'm not in that position in my life. So I'm guessing you wouldn't help your man either. Absolutely not. So what about you? Like you told your fiance that honestly i don't have the money so let's postpone because i don't have money and she says nope i'll give you the money and you'll pay me back are you taking that offer no <laughs> no <laughs> why no i'm in debt <laughs> but, it's, but it's your wife unprovoked no no but still like you're clearly forcing things i mean it's yeah. not happening it's not working out wait rather wait, wait it out the right time yeah I believe if something is meant to be or meant to happen, uh, other aspects will support that. Yeah. Will be in support of that happening. So if you can't afford Lowala, it's just downward spiral. The final question that I want to present is: We're now moving into new times. Women are proposing. Women are paying for weddings. Women are the breadwinners. Men are house husbands. Are you guys okay? Yeah, house husbands. <laughs> You'd be a house husband. Yeah. Are you guys okay Madden with a woman <laughs> paying Lobola for you? Or a home engineer. Mm-hmm. Are you a woman paying Lobola for you? Are you guys okay with a woman paying Lobola for you? Culturally or like for banter or something. No, like legit. <laughs> she, she wants to bring her family to your family so that she can pay Lobola for you. Personally, my um, family, yeah. My family wouldn't understand that. Yeah. You, yeah. would you? Would you be okay with it? Enough for you I'd to convince okay, your family. You. Like, you must go home now and say, Dad, nah, listen. Nah, that's too, nah, that's too much. It's too yeah. dramatic. Let but what if, it's, really okay what if it's not it. dramatic though? Like, she's honestly legit like, listen, I want to pay for you. So Let's she, make it happen. It's easy. The same way you can say so that no one for a girl is dramatic too. It's not dramatic because you believe in it. So if oh, she no, says she I want to pay the letter because you don't go report. Yeah, then the letter yeah, you comes write the letter through. And you send it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so she wants the letter. And then my dad gets the. <sighs> Are you okay <laughs> with it? Tricky. I mean, I'm okay with it, but. <sighs> but your family. She is. has to speak to me first. I you know why? Why not? I guess because of like the practice itself and how it's supposed to go. Oh, what it actually does. Yeah. But you know, if it's a joining of two families and she says, you know, but 
why can't we also, why can't I pay for you as well so that we can join these two families? Okay, what am I paying for? Or maybe rather you both pay for each other, what about that? No. I mean, obviously, it would have to be tactical about how she how pays for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. Maybe if it's just, it'll just be my close family, and we'll have a small, uh, you know, ceremony without the uncles. Yeah, without too many uncles, you know. But she wants it to be an official thing. Ah, that she's asking. Uh, so no, you're not okay. She's no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I think also let's be careful to not oversimplify things here eh? because. We can't just say because it's the joining of two families, then anyone can initiate. Right. Again, it's something that you must look into yeah. fully and understand fully the reasons for A, B, and C before you can just want to say, yeah, but we're just joining two families and be reckless yeah. about it. Don't oversimplify it. Don't be obtuse about it. You know what I mean? It's a sacred practice. Yeah. Understand it fully if you're going to want to come with angles and because... Yeah. Ultimately, everyone has their own opinion. Like I said, I mean, I don't know too much about it. So my final stance with it is to each his or her own. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Join the conversation. Comment down below because we want to know your thoughts. Peace and love, guys.